Good morning. Welcome back to another Blue Jay Acres video. My name's Charles, and I am really happy you guys are here with me today. So, fear not when a video starts with me. It doesn't mean we won't have cooking and what's going on in the kitchen today because that is on tap. But I asked Noel to let me do the opening for today's video. Um, one, because she isn't feeling very well this morning. Uh, I think it's still a combination of uh, what's kind of going around the house from a cold perspective and, you know, what's going on with her weekly shot. So I asked her to let me do the video this morning. And uh, plus, I wanted to take an opportunity just to say thank you. So, you know, Noelle and I have spent a lot of time recently looking at what we're going to do next year here around the homestead or farm or whatever you want to call it and you know there's a lot that we need to get done there's a lot that we want to do but i wanted to say thank you because we've also seen really good support uh, from the youtube community from instagram uh, and folks that are following us and commenting and watching the videos and that means a lot to us so it also makes a difference in our ability to do things around the farm so I'll give you an example next year <clears throat> next year we are looking at probably putting about 800 chickens into the hands of the community and that is a lot of chickens. So, you know, if we can do a thousand chickens next year and we keep roughly 200 for us, we can put 800 back into the hands of the community. And that is a lot of work and it is a lot of upfront costs. So today I need to build some more mobile chicken tractors. And, you know, I think that's kind of where I got my thoughts for this morning's opening to the video from is I went to you know the hardware store so I went to Home Depot I went to Tractor Supply and bought some of the basics that I need and I already had the sheet metal and so I didn't have to spend that money but I had to buy some two by fours some sheet metal screws I had to buy some latches and clips and just little things and by the time I was done for enough supplies to build two of these boxes I was well over probably $220 on these boxes. Now, you know, we don't make that much off of one batch of chickens that are going to go in those boxes, but if we can do a thousand chickens next year, I'll run about 10 batches through each one of those um, mobile tractors. And that is going to be a little bit more economical on the broader scale. But where it all ties back to is every time you watch a video, every time you like it, you know or you subscribe to our channel to see what we've got going on as changes over the course of the next year or you forward a video and whether you thumbs it up or thumbs it down it really doesn't matter it is a view and you're here with us and you know we know not everyone likes all of the content we have because we have such a wide variety of viewer space but every time we get that response from you and we can make just a little bit from youtube that money gets reinvested into the systems that we're using to reinvest in the community so i i look at it and you know we've talked about do we do just enough for us in the way of chicken next year or do we sell chicken? And the way that I look at it is, is if we can put 800 birds into the hands of the community next year, then that is 800 birds they didn't have to go to a grocery store and buy. And it is better quality. Everyone has given us feedback. Everyone who has given us feedback has said these are the best birds they've had in a very long time and so much better than supermarket quality and that is great encouragement for us and moreover they have been so thankful that someone local has been able to do it and you give us the ability to invest in the systems to do that for our community you know on top of that there are other skills that you know we want to learn um, one, 
we have learned the skill of how to do the chicken now what we need to do is turn it into an art and when we can turn it into an art of doing chicken then we'll progress to the next level where we could actually possibly teach classes and we've talked about that but again i need more systems to be able to teach classes because we have to have canopies and you know there's just so many different things that we would need to do to be able to teach classes and then beyond just getting the chicken into the hands of the community we're getting a skill into the hands of the community and i think that is a huge thing those of you that watched previous video know that i went down and you know thank you to jason and lorraine i went down to sow the land this past year and learned the skill of being able to process the chickens myself from them and you know i think being able to find something more local for folks would make it more achievable right because on top of the cost of the class then there's the cost of the travel and the cost of the hotel room and all of that with that said i'm going to pause my part of it here uh, with a huge thank you to all of you for viewing the channel for watching the videos and I'm going to turn you over to Noelle, who's going to show you what we've got going on in the kitchen today. Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's kind of bright right there. Let me turn you. So thank you guys so much for uh, watching Charles' intro. <laughs> he did that for me because I'm just not feeling great today. Uh, between the kids' cold that I've got that's keeping me up, and then my poor little Luke didn't sleep last night, and my medicine, I'm just I'm not feeling good today. Um, so breakfast, everybody was kind of on their own and Charles went out and did the intro so that I could rest a little bit. Um, so breakfast, I think everybody just did yogurt. Um, I think that's what they ended up eating. So I'm going to do lunch and dinner, but you guys, it's going to be very simple today because I'm just, I'm very nauseous and just not feeling very good. So, um, we're going to just jump into a really fast easy lunch and also thank you guys all so much for all the sweet comments uh on um, every day every day thank you so much all right let's do a fast easy lunch all right so this super simple recipe is great for dinner lunch whatever you really can't get any easier than this <laughs> i just take chicken breast And put my oven at 350. Okay, let's separate my chicken breast. They're still slightly frozen. As soon as I wasn't feeling good and I didn't get sleep tonight, I thought, uh, I know what I'm making. And I hadn't decided if I was gonna make it for lunch or dinner, but lunch it is. Okay, so I have my chicken here. I have a jar of salsa. I actually canned this last year, 9-16-23. Um, I always just like to give it a quick smell, make sure it's still gonna taste good, smells good, nothing's wrong, especially when it's been in there for a little over a year. Pour salsa, any salsa you want. This is seriously so easy. I have some corn that we canned earlier, 7-18-24. I'm gonna have to get my canner opener for that. So if I'm not feeling good or I don't have time, there are a few dinners that are just so easy to do that I don't have to be in the kitchen for a long time and I'll sit and just smell food for a long time. And these are what I like to do. This is one of those recipes because everything's just gonna cook by itself. I'm gonna throw some rice in my rice cooker and this will just cook up so easy. And then I'm gonna grab some uh, uh, mozzarella cheese and put that on top. And that's it. This is ready for the oven. All the seasoning and everything is in the salsa. 
It makes just such a delicious, delicious chicken. You got the cheese, you got the corn, and we're gonna have it with rice, and it's just wonderful. So I'm gonna pop this in at 350 for, I don't know, check it maybe in like 45 minutes till your chicken's all the way cooked through at 165 degrees. Again, now I'm gonna just throw rice in my rice cooker. A rice cooker is one of my favorite kitchen appliances. <laughs> I could probably do without a microwave before a rice cooker because I can just throw rice in and not worry about it. I don't have to watch the stove or anything. I can just go and it keeps it warm until we're ready for it. So I'm gonna throw the rice in and that's it. Very super simple lunch. I'll show you it as soon as it is done. Real quick, I also want to touch on the canning. I have not started canning without you guys. It just has not been something I've been able to do. Definitely can't do it today. Um, tomorrow, I will, as long as I wake up and I feel okay, and Luke sleeps tonight, I will get the jalapenos done, so we'll do those tomorrow. The tomatoes, luckily, a lot of them still need to finish ripening all the way, so I'm not too stressed about that, because Monday, we have, um, the children's theater we get season passes to that uh i take luke it's eight dollars a person because we go to homeschool days so each theater production is eight dollars uh, a seat so we get season tickets they do four productions a year and we got beauty and the beast is uh monday so we'll be at that so i won't do any canning um that day and then tuesday it'll either be tuesday or wednesday i know for sure i'll be home wednesday um, cause Kate has a major exam and I'll be watching Theo but Tuesday. I'm not sure. We're thinking about a pumpkin patch on Tuesday, so I'm not sure. We'll see. All right. But either Tuesday or Wednesday, we will get to canning some tomatoes and definitely then Thursday and Friday we'll finish up cause I don't want to lose any of my tomatoes. So, um, canning is coming next week. I promise. Whether I'm sick, not sick, whatever is coming. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Just came out of the oven, the salsa chicken. I will have Charles do a taste test for you here in a minute on that. Um, those of you curious as to what I eat when I have days like this, I don't really eat. <laughs> I drink, uh, I always have on hand for in case of days like this. In the seven months I've been doing this weight loss injections now, I always have the premier protein shakes and I will make myself drink a couple of those throughout the day and greek yogurt that's our homemade yogurt that's that's really all i can eat when i feel like this so that's it i already had one protein shake today and i'm working on water so i'm gonna have charles taste this for you guys though i know it's delicious because i've made it for many many years if you guys watched my old channel I'm, i've made this for so many years it's delicious so this is what it looks like then and Charles is gonna come taste test for you. All right, he's we ready to be your taste tester. We haven't had salsa chicken in a while. No, it's been a long time, but it is definitely a fast food for me, a very hands-off. Cooks for 45 minutes to an hour, but then it's just hands-off. Mm. Turn out good. I remember, hey, I remember guys, what you're gonna see us cook most is definitely pork and chicken, because that's just what we have, that's just, our flow right now is pork and chicken from the farm, so. And we did a lot of ground pork, so you're gonna see a lot of ground pork. It's just the season. It is. But just know, for every recipe that I use ground pork, because we did, one of our pigs we had just completely turned into ground pork. The other one um, is a lot of ground pork. And anything that I make with ground pork, you guys can make with whatever you find on sale. Ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef, Whatever ground meat you can find on sale or grind your own. Um, you can definitely do that too. So, cause tonight I'm sure will be a ground pork recipe. I've been looking to see what, what I want to make. It's super easy. But in all fairness, the ground pork off the pigs we had done. It's very much like ground I have to ask you if it's pork or beef. Yeah. I cannot tell the difference. Yeah. If you guys can ever try Cooney Cooney uh, pork, I highly suggest it because it is, it is, definitely top notch and very much tastes like beef it's it's way better this tastes like chicken though yeah better <laughs> <laughs> better we have some good chicken fresh chicken is is really good too all right 
that's going to be a uh, lunch. I will see you guys later on when I fix up some dinner. And I think you're going to see some with Charles here in a minute. Yep. All right. We are going to take a quick break from what we're doing. I've got two by fours out in the sun drying out a little bit to make them lighter weight. We're going to finish off an experiment Noelle started with celery. So she took the starting of the stock. She basically took the celery stalks and put them in water. And as you can see, we are growing new celery. So I'm gonna take and plant these. So I had some potting soil left over. these and open them up a little. So this is really cool. A little bit of celery stalk. Put it in water. Within a few days, it definitely sprouted. Some new leaves. I'm just gonna use the water we had left over. Water those. we go. We have planted celery. We've gotten done a bunch of household chores that needed to get done and I need to get moving along the lines of getting these boxes started for the mobile coops, the, the chicken tractors. So I have the two but with a hundred birds even though they're a little small right now I really need four. So I've got to get moving on getting the other two built so I've already pulled out my workbench but I need to get the saw on it and then I'm gonna be doing these two by fours by myself and I don't have anything to catch them on the other end so I do need to figure out how I'm gonna do that so they don't just you know fall over off the table saw when I'm running them through so I'm gonna take a look at that and see what I can come up with as a solution to make that happen.
dinner. It is actually after six and we still have some rice left. So I'm just gonna make a quick Korean beef with uh, the ground pork. It wasn't all the way defrosted, so I've got it going. I always have my meat bucket in the fridge if I haven't shown you guys that, or if you haven't seen that, I have shown it um, on a few occasions. So I always, every few days, pick out a bunch of different meats, put it in the fridge, so I've got it for lunches and dinners, breakfast, whatever um, I need. And that's what I use to make it. However, even though I got the stuff out last night, I still do not have stuff all the way defrosted today. So I'm just gonna finish that defrosting real quick and then I'm gonna whip together this Korean beef real fast. We're gonna use some of my shortcuts, the already frozen diced onions and the jarred garlic. Make it super simple. All right, so here I'm just gonna start. Uh, getting this hot then we're going to just put the onions and my garlic in I don't really have uh, measurements I just kind of throw this together up for a minute. I didn't add any oil to my pan because they're frozen. They just produce their own, you know, water. And uh, I just think it'd be too runny. I just don't feel like it needs the oil. And then, yes, I got it a little over defrosted. <laughs> but you're just gonna add your meat. I'm using ground pork, use ground turkey, use ground chicken. I've actually made this with all of it, ground beef. Whatever you wanna use that you have or that you found on sale. I know uh, when we were buying meat, a lot of times I did ground turkey because it was way cheaper and I could get it even just like at Aldi. And, uh, I use ground turkey the way you're seeing me use ground pork. I use it all the time. And now all the good stuff. This comes together just so fast. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, rice vinegar. I'm gonna add soy sauce. And because you add soy sauce to this, if you're using something like ground turkey, um, again, nobody really notices that it's ground turkey. Some crushed red peppers. I'm using Korean red peppers, but you could just use plain old crushed red peppers for this one. Also going to add a little bit of ginger. Then add brown sugar if you have it. I'm make, you know, doing my thing. Molasses. And sugar. Mix it up good. I don't want like a big chunk of molasses or anything in there. If you need to add a little bit more of whatever you need to add, you just add it. I'm going to top this with some green onions and some sesame seeds. That's it. This comes together really fast. I cannot try this tonight because I just can't stomach it, but I will have a... Charles, come be a taste tester for you.
I'm going to just go in with some green onion. turn this off and get off some sesame seeds and then they can make any veggies they want out of the fridge to go with this or out of the freezer we have all kinds we just have to steam them that's it this is done curry and beef super fast and easy all right so then this is what it looks like so let me get them and do it for you all right, Charles is covered in dust. Don't get it in your food. I'm very itchy now. He's out working with the saws. Mmm. Is it good? Because I can't taste it because it's going to make me too nauseous. Darn near perfect. It's good. So I don't need to add anything else. Perfect. Mmm. It's very savory. Good. Spoken like the abominable saw man. <laughs> all right all right you guys that's gonna wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow bye everybody have a great day or night wherever you are